Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with episode number 43 of the Hardcore Iron Man series, a series in which, of course, I am doing my best to stay alive, and still kicking, still at it, having a great old time out here. As far as the account is looking, 120 combat and 2032 total, so really, really good. I got below 1300 in terms of the Hardcore Iron Man leaderboard, so excited to keep on pushing higher, or, or I guess lower, um, but nonetheless having a great old time out here. And the bank value is up to 321 mil, just giving you some perspective there on kind of what all I have, so been looking really good this episode. Gonna kick it off at the beginning with a little bit of Zora. I did do a bit last episode that did allow me to get that Snakeling along with a Trident upgrade. From here, I mean, kind of looking for the Blowpipe. It's not the biggest deal, but it would be nice to get um, ever since the nerf. It, it means less to me, but I I'd still like to achieve it. Kind of what I'm looking for. I'm sure there'll be a lot of other things that I need to do along the way, but that's where we're going to get started. Before I could get to Zora, I had to go ahead and make some house teleports just for the utility and being able to then access the fairy ring inside my house as well. Managed to get fire surge from 95 magic, so in the future have the ability to do that if I'd like. There's not a lot of places I'm going to utilize a lot of fire spells, so we'll see about that. Also don't have a tome, so I'm not very efficient, but going to keep on making these. I actually do like having a big stack of house teleports also for my clue scroll adventures, so kind of nice. Nice little level flowing on in here, 86 of mine and coming on through. Um, just AFK and something that I can actually utilize. As you could tell, had a little bit of a technical difficulty there, but as far as my mining goes here, Motherload Mine, been enjoying it. A good combination of AFK and also kind of progress for the account. Helps me get a lot of ores, also gets my smithing level up at some point in the near future, so I enjoy that. Going to do a little bit more as I get into editing these videos, and then later I'll hit up some Zora. That's certainly a drop. I mean, I don't... <laughs> I've thought about this before. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but, I mean, it's here. I don't understand really what I should do. Maybe I sell it to the shop for Tokul. I'm guessing they don't pay well for that. Not really sure. Um, I could make, like, a regen bracelet. I've thought of that before as well. I'm not... Eh. I mean, I could use it in certain situations. It's very niche, but... Kind of useful, good for the bank value at least. So, okay, I've had to use my first ever revive here at Zora. I mean, in my defense, I was just reading Twitch chat, hanging out, and I thought it was a melee phase, so I didn't even have any prayers on or anything, and little did I know, it was a range phase, and yeah, I fake died. So, I was actually pretty proud that I haven't died yet here, to be honest, so sucks it has to happen that way, but I am over 500 KC, and I guess this gives me an excuse to go do some easy clues and try to finish my, my book of law, so eh, there's some good here, I guess. Got an easy clue here right now, lagging while killing some ammonite crabs over here. Been having a lot of lag recently, so kind of iffy, but no real troubles whenever I'm killing Zora or anything. Nothing that actually affects me in that regard, but working up to 95 range while I'm AFKing, working on some other videos, and it's kind of what I wanted to talk about at the moment. Um, obviously, you know, look at the account name, I AFK a ton. Reason being, always kind of working on other stuff, having a good old time, and at this point of the account, we really don't progress as much in terms of levels and just kind of things that are going on. Like, sure, there's stuff I can talk about, but coming at you guys with, you know, new items, new levels, it, it's pretty hard at this point, not gonna lie to you. <laughs> So whenever I'm trying to balance both sides of the content, it means that these videos are just going to come out a little slower over time. It just is what it is. I will try to obviously spice it up with my personality and have a good old time with it. And of course, there's still a lot of goals that I have. So I'm not saying by any means that, you know, we're any <laughs> anywhere close to done. But point being, if you feel like that the videos are coming out a little bit slower, it just, you know, kind of the price has to be paid for this. Honestly, whenever I created the account, uh, if it wasn't apparent in the first episode, I didn't really plan on it being alive this long like whenever i was seeing how the account would go in my mind i was like yeah if i make it through dragon slayer 2 that's a win in my book so i mean i'm a mile past that at this point so i'm just playing with house money honestly and it's been a ton of fun but with that you know i can't grind this endlessly like as the account goes on you know it takes more time to then get the levels to then get the clips to then get the you know how the whole sausage is made and whatnot but I still like to make other content. I still like to be involved with you guys in other ways. So I can't dedicate all of my time to the account. I've been kind of in a rush with all of my accounts because I, you know, I always just want to get the videos out as fast as possible. But at this point, I'm just kind of slowing down. So it'll be about every two weeks. But yeah, going to get back to AFKing and ranting about how Zora has bad drops because after about 600 kills so far, really feeling it. 
Um, <laughs> oh, oh, didn't expect that to be the end of the quest, but I guess here we are. So a kingdom divided, done and dusted. Two quest points right there, along with the Book of the Dead, which is the main thing that I'm looking for, and an antique lamp. I actually wasn't ready for that. A grand Castle respawn point. Oh, okay, I'll use that a lot. And uh, additional Arceus spells, which is actually the main thing I want. I need some thralls for my Zora DPS. So gonna do what I can to see if I can get some charges in that regard. But uh, throw this on Herblore, I guess. I could do rune crafting, but I'm going to be a good Iron Man and uh, keep to the script here. Um, the Book of the Dead will allow me to cast the Thralls. Beyond that, I do actually have to go charge this a little bit because I don't have many charges left. But that's just for teleporting and whatnot. So at this point, I can now use Thralls, which is going to be a nice uh, alternative DPS option. It's like a summoning familiar, essentially. So pretty excited for that. So to demonstrate the thralls here, I will do a nice little Zora kill. The main one that I've been using is the Greater Ghost. This is the mage-based one. And as far as my Twitch chat has told me, that seems to be the right one. Uh, for newer stuff like this, you know, I, I could either wiki it myself and truly find out the right answer, or I could just trust the greater knowledge of a Twitch chat. So usually I'd go about that route. It seems to work pretty well for me, though. I mean, I, I don't see a substantial difference either way. Essentially, just a little familiar that whenever you cast it, cost a decent bit in terms of the amount of runes that it does require looking here five bloods 10 fire one cosmic and also six prayer so i mean pretty costly also considering that i do have to you know kind of drink more prayer potions and so that's going to add a little bit to it but compared to vengeance which i was using previously much more consistent less thought that i have to put into it as well so really like it for the zora kills it's definitely not something that's noticeable in the extent that it only hits a max of a three but you can tell it's pretty consistent and it does stick around for a minute that does depend also on your magic level will kind of decide how long it does follow you but the only thing that i guess i would complain about is that it doesn't follow me around like pillars like it gets stuck and also on top of that it, it won't leave the lair with me and then go to the next kill so i i guess that would be my only gripe but really still worthwhile Apparently passed by a level while I was out here doing my ammonite crab whatnots up to 95 a little bit extra DPS there with that range level and overall I yeah that means I have 95 as my baseline for the combat stats apart from prayer of course which I mean a lot harder to manage that but having a good old time here at the ammonites probably won't do too much more of this I was kind of just doing it for the level in reality I really don't want to actually push my range too much because I'll do a lot of ranging anyways. So future AFK grind probably going to be mining. I do like getting all those ore, but I I mean it's not totally AFK because I don't want to die at winter time, but I might do some fire making because I mean those are just easy levels that I've had sitting there forever. And at this point, I mean, we're starting to get up there. I kind of want to get below the 1k total rank. At the moment, I'm in like 1250 or something, so 250 spots left and I definitely got some levels that I could push. Um just totally avoid room crafting as usual. Sure, sure, I could push that in theory, but uh, I'll save that for later because it's so fun. You know, got to save it for the end. Well, uh, not exactly what I was looking for, to be honest. <laughs> got another rare coming in here at 605 KC. Nice little magic fang, but sadly, sadly, I already have one of those. So that's a little dupe we could throw on in the bank just to boost the bank value a little bit, but... Yeah, not uh, not exactly what I was expecting. So I guess we'll still go dry, uh, technically. Uh, I don't know if, you know, the pet kind of makes up for it a little bit. I can't really complain at this point. But continue on the lookout here for a, uh, a blowpipe or a surp helm. Just anything other than the magic fang or the onyx, honestly. Yeah, yeah, totally didn't just go AFK for a good mm, five minutes here at the Mortania patch with my auto-retaliate initially off because i was killing zora and i didn't want to aggro the snakelings so <sighs> nice sigh of relief right there in my defense i haven't done too many farm runs lately with all the zora i've been killing i've just been distracted and enjoying that aspect of the game and haven't really gotten around to it so a little rusty getting back into the groove of things here it's embarrassing to say, but I think it would actually be beneficial for me to wear a ring of a life when I do my farm runs. Kind of a good meme, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Might actually be the way to go. Currently high alking in an attempt to rebuild my cash stack. Luckily Zora, since I've been here so long, is at least helping me in some regard that I can get some battle staffs, some other ores. 
some U logs and just a lot of things that are going to generally help my account beyond just the uniques that I am hunting. At this point, I mean, I'm more so hunting the blowpipe just for my pure desire to attain it. I mean, in reality, there are things that I could move on to and really start to move in different aspects of the game, but I, I just figured that I was going to get a spoon drop, to be honest, so I... <laughs> I just kept going, and uh, at this point, I guess there's no real reason to stop, so I'll continue to do a good bit. At some point next episode, I'm definitely going to swing and buy Chambers of Zarek and at least start my grind here. In reality, if I would have known that I was going to take this long to get my blowpipe, maybe I would have just done the prayers beforehand and at least done enough chambers to go ahead and get my rigor and augury, because that would be really helpful. In the same vein of prayer though, actually at this point I have almost 1,000 dragon bones in the bank on top of that 67 and sold dragon head. So I mean, kind of stacked at the moment. Not sure when I'm going to want to go ahead and put those to use, but that will easily knock out 77 prayer for me. So don't really have to worry about that at all. So while I might not have been getting many unique drops, at least I'm getting some items that are definitely going to help the bank in the long run. Accidentally got a hunter level off camera, but you can see it down there in the chat up to 87 right there working on the skill total a little bit more Always love that freaking birdhouse animation did a good bit of fire making yesterday at winter time Was having a good old time with the stream making sure I didn't afk too much there I also did manage to get some warm gloves along with the torch not the best pieces of the set But definitely happy to add them I've been enjoying the total level push recently since we've been getting pretty high up there and rank 1000 hardcore is 2060 total. So after this fire making level, I will be 20 levels away from that. And that's pretty exciting. I am very happy with where the account is at at the moment. 84 fire making, adding on to that excitement. Nothing too much in particular as far as the level goes, but I'm having a grand old time in terms of the rune crafting, you know, probably looking at that thinking that that's going to be the easiest total levels to get. Next episode, definitely going to do Sins of the Father along with my first ever Chambers of Zarek. That's kind of the plan this weekend. Heading into it. Maybe Zora will give me the uniques I've been desperately looking for, but we will see about that. Bank looking pretty good overall, and as far as the levels, of course, good as ever. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. In addition to that, I will say I've been putting in a lot of work in regards to content lately to bring more to you guys. So I've been streaming a lot more on Twitch. On top of that, I've been uploading more and trying to get out more Patreon content as well and provide more value there. So if you guys enjoy the series and want to participate with the series more or my content in general, would appreciate that greatly. Plenty of links you can check it down below. On top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace.